Hey everyone, welcome to another video. I have Ada joining me today and we're gonna walk you through doing different dye sublimation promo materials for a business. So we have a makeshift tattoo shop today called Illuminated Tattoo and we're gonna do different things of t-shirt, some drinkware, as well as a pop socket. So we're gonna walk you through how to do all of that and at the end we're gonna talk about how you can make money doing this. Alan, do you want to walk through like what's a good t-shirt to use or what's preferred when you're using dye sublimation? And I'll of course. Cut all so, this stuff. so over here we have a hundred percent polyester type of athletic wear type of shirt. And typically when you're doing dye sublimation, you want to maintain a high poly count to get the best transfer um, and kind of have a, the, a light color, okay, to get the best results. And this specific one, what are we going to do first? Are we going to do the Let's left chest? Let's do the chest? left chest first. Left chest first, okay. All right. So what I typically do I is I come down, four fingers down from the collar, and then I line up right along the... Um, sure, the collar. The kind collar of like on down, yeah. Collar here. Yep. So when we're pressing the garment here, we're going to be doing about 400 degrees for about 45 seconds. All right, so let's press it down. There we go. And then we're going to see what we got. Look, it's stuck to the... Oh, that's even better. It's stuck up there. Oh, yuck. And look, it looks great. Very vibrant already, you can see. All right, which one are we going to do next? Got the full back transfer here. All right. Obviously, it's mirrored, so then when we go to press it, it's going to be right reading. Yep. And one thing you got to remember is the way I'm placing the shirt on is I'm placing it upside down and backwards. So you have to make sure you put your, uh, your, your transfer on so it doesn't print upside down, obviously. That's exactly what I say. I say you gotta do it upside down and backwards. Yep. And just position it right in the middle, right here. Um, and go ahead and press it. How are we looking on place placement? I think it looks good. Okay. There we go. This one came out. Right here, you see how vibrant this looks. So, so far we have the back and we have the front. And now we're gonna do the sleeve. So we're just gonna get it right in the middle. Kind of a little bit tricky. All right. Just gonna give it a light pre-press, a couple seconds, nothing too long. That should be sufficient. Oh yeah. All right, here we go. Release it. Left chest, sleeve, right here, and then back. Look at that. Only thing you need is an SG-1000 and a heat press. Boom. What if somebody doesn't want to do 100% polyester? Are there like other garments or blends they can do? So if you don't want to do 100% poly, uh, polyester, you could use a 50-50 blend, 50% cotton and 50% polyester, but that's going to give you kind of like a vintage effect and that's going to be like a whole another type of look that the customer might like. Sure. Shirt's done. Let's move on to the drinkware. So earlier today, we went ahead and pressed this one. We're going to go ahead and show you how we did that right now. What's going on everybody? Alan Wade here, A-Dub Productions. I'm really, really excited because I'm gonna be doing this for the very first time. First part, as I've been told and instructed, is to take off the plastic. That's kind of obvious because uh, knowing me, I'd mess it up, but, you know, but it's okay, we got instruction today. So here's our design we're gonna be putting onto the tumbler. We simply just wrap it around. And then we're gonna slide our material in. Don't mind a little rip it five. It's not gonna matter, I promise you. All right, so you slide that in there. Wow, it's like magic. Magical, wow. It's melting. And what it's doing is creating a tight seal so that everything goes on good and it uh, submates really good, wow. This part right here is, I think this is my favorite, most favorite part. We're gonna place it inside of our oven. It start right there and we are cooking on gas, guys. We're gonna see how this comes out in just a few moments. So now we're gonna take it apart and see how it turned out. Big reveal. Big reveal, fingers crossed. Drum rolls, please. 
All right, so you guys can see right now how vibrant this came out. And you guys can see the decor look. I mean, look at this. Look at this. You can put custom logos for advertisement and anything like that, but this would make a great product to add to your line. And one thing you can always do with stuff like this mug or the cup is add sign vinyl on top of it. So you can even personalize it further. So let's say this is a tattoo shop and you have them all for everybody that works there. You can throw everybody's name or nickname or something fun on here in sign vinyl. That way it's just something to add on to it. All right, so our t-shirt's done. Both mugs are done. Last up, pop socket. So right. we got these pop sockets right here. It's another great upsell item that you can offer clients. Um, and they're really, really, really easy to sublimate on. So let's just open one up so you guys can see. So these pop sockets are great to attach to your cell phone, obviously. They're very, very small and the price point is excellent. These are only about a dollar each. So your profit margins are really huge on these items right here. Um, here's a little bit of tape. So you just watch your placement, carefully place them onto the, uh, onto the top part that you're sublimating onto and put a piece of tape on there. I have another one from the yeah. other side. 400 degrees, just like the t-shirt, but we're gonna do about a minute rather than the 45 seconds. There we go, voila. And that's gonna be very, very hot. Yeah, let's just wait a minute. When you're doing this method right here, you can pretty much, you see the size of the pop socket and how much space you have to work with. So you can do multiple of these pop sockets at the same time for time efficiency and maximize the, you know, your time. So just look at this when it comes off and look how vibrant it looks. All right, so here we go. From here to here, look how good that looks, how vibrant that is. All right, so guys, when you're printing out stuff on your SG500 or your SG1000, don't be like, if you look at the paper and you look at when we transferred it, notice how vibrant it looks on the substrate versus how it looks on the paper. So don't be panicked, okay? Don't be panicked, just press it onto something and see how it comes out. Vibrant. A little slightly bit dull. That's how it's supposed to. That's what's supposed to happen. So we're gonna put this pop socket together, put it to use. Honestly, it's probably one of the easiest things you'll ever do. All you're doing is taking off, there's 3M little sticker here, place it on there, put this part on your phone. So these are all things that you can do for a uh, business. In this case, we have illuminated tattoo. And of course, our shirts are bread and butter, which is the highest price item. All shirts are gonna want business uh, shirts for staff to sell for uh, patrons. And you got your drinkware right here. That's another uh, sale that you can make. And of course, upsell a pop socket. All right, so these are three different methods and a, a type of type of template that you can use to pitch to different businesses so that you can make money. It's not limited to just a tattoo. It could be a coffee shop. It could be a school, it could be anything. Any type of business, just look out the window and see the many different businesses around and you can make them like a, a, a little small package. kit like this, a package kit, and you can pitch it to them. And I guarantee you, you ask enough people, you're gonna get, you're gonna make some money. All right, that wraps up our video today. Ada, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome, my pleasure for being here. Thank you Do you, you wanna let everyone know where they can find you at? Okay, so you can find me right here, as you guys have seen all throughout the video. Great way of marketing. Same thing we did right here. So you guys already knew before the video started where to find me, youtube.com backslash Adub Productions. Also on Instagram, Adub Productions, all right? Adub Productions everywhere. Thank you guys so much for having me. Awesome. Everyone, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.